If you followed me and watched my video share, you might have already known that I'm designing and soldering a lot of PCBs. Since I use a lot of surface mount components in my design and solder them by hand, this might end up in some unexpected results. Therefore, inspection after the soldering is one important step in my workflow. Since my old eyes can no longer serve me well, this step is kind of painful, and it left me unconfident about the result of my soldering. Well, the good news is that I received a wonderful gift from Link Micro, which is a sponsor of this video. What is the gift? Let's find out. The gift is the Link Micro LM249MS Digital Microscope. It's an absolute game changer when it comes to inspecting those intricate soldering results on your PCBs. Before we delve into the details, make sure to subscribe and click the notification bell to stay updated on future videos like this one. LM249MS has many features and a lot of useful settings for fine-tuning the behavior of the device. However, it is hard to cover all of them in a 10-minute video, so I will pick up some features that I think are useful and important when using it as a surface-mounted PCB inspection tool. Let's get started. The microscope arrived security packaged in a sturdy box and it included an English manual. Therefore, if you are proficient in English or have a basic understanding of the language, you should find it easy to follow the instructions and assemble the microscope. While assembling the microscope may take some time, the process is relatively straightforward. After the assembly, let's take a closer look at what we have here. Alright, let's talk about what makes the Link Micro LM249MS so special for us electronics enthusiasts. First off, it's all about that magnification power. This microscope comes with an impressive magnification range, allowing us to zoom in close and examine even the tiniest solder joints with crystal clarity. To make it suitable for various scenes, the microscope comes with three lenses that can be mounted to the focusing tube. According to the user manual, they are named as Lens L, A, and D. Lens L is perfect for PCB inspection. Lens A works best for inspecting coins or stamps, and it's also handy for getting up close with PCB details like individual solder pads or connections. However, it can sometimes feel a little bit too close. Finally, Lens D is great for microscope slides. When using Lens D, it's important to position it close to the target object. But with the PCB board, getting this close can be tricky, making it difficult to focus properly due to limited light access. The next important factor is the image quality. The image quality on this microscope is stunning. The high-definition camera delivers sharp and vibrant visuals, making it a breeze to spot any imperfections or cold solder joints that could cause trouble later on. 
Getting a clear view of those connections is crucial, and the LM249MS nails it. I also have a small USB microscope, and I know it's unfair to compare it with LM249MS, but I guess its manufacturing cost is cheap. And of course, the image quality is not as competitive as LM249MS. I guess you pay for every pixel you get. For lighting, it includes two adjustable spotlights that offer flexible adjustment to any desired angles and distance, ensuring sufficient light intensity. After the position is fixed, you can conveniently adjust the brightness using the buttons on the controller. Also, a simple remote control is included to make it possible to adjust settings like magnification, take a picture, and start and stop recording video without touching the microscope. If you want to adjust the focus, just turn this knob and it will be moving the lens up or down to find the best position to focus and get the clear picture you want. It's super intuitive. When you want to fine-tune the focus, there is a dial on the body of the lens holder, which can make adjusting super easy. The LM249MS can capture images and record videos of what you see on the monitor. The package includes a micro SD card that is ready for immediate use. Before recording a video or taking a picture, you need to insert the SD card into the card slot, which you can access on the top side of the display. As I mentioned earlier, you can take a picture or start recording a video with a press of a button on the remote control. After that, you can take the micro SD card to your computer and use the footage. This is a must-have feature for me to save the video data and transfer it to my primary workstation to further integrate it into my YouTube videos. It enables me to share the soldering results with high-quality visuals and to engage with my audience by sharing or reviewing the videos on my YouTube channel or Instagram channel. Last but not least, this microscope has an HDMI interface, which enables you to watch all the visuals on an even bigger screen. Connecting to the external display is a significant advantage. Although this microscope has already come with a large 10-inch display, there are times when a larger monitor is preferable to showcase PCP board details to yourself or others. Therefore, the ability to connect to an external display is an essential feature, and once again, the LM249MS delivers flawlessly. Since we have tried out lens L and A, now let's try lens D to observe some microscope's lights that come with the microscope. Lens D offers about 2,000 times magnification, allowing us to marvel at the astonishingly beautiful world beneath the microscope lens. Well, with my presentation, I assume you have already determined to buy one for yourself. If you want one, just go to Amazon or anywhere you like. 
and a search LM249MS and you will find it. I will also leave a link in the video description section in case you can't find a proper one. If it's working well for you, no need to thank me. The real thanks should go to Link Micro for crafting such a fantastic product. The Link Micro LM249 MS Digital Microscope is going to be an integral part of my workflow. Its impressive magnification, top notch image quality, adjustable lighting, user friendly controls, and the ability to capture media, ability to connect to external monitors, make it super handy and valuable for anyone serious about soldering and PCB inspection. Okay, I guess that's all for today's review. If you find this video helpful, don't forget to give that a thumbs up and share it with your fellow electronic hobbyists. And hey, if you are new here, make sure you hit that subscribe button and join my channel, or leave a comment if you want to. Until next time, keep soldering and exploring the amazing world of electronics. Thank you for watching, see you next time.